this is uh, West Side Models ON3 short caboose that I picked up in Denver convention and I'm adding uh, wipers onto uh, San Juan trucks it's easier there's, there's better pick up on these San Juan trucks how I'm making these I'm just using the uh, 12 and a half thou phosphor bronze wire and I put that onto a bit of circuit board the circuit board glues onto a little block and that's the little styrene block that I'm putting inside there and you see the wipers are just on the back of that and they're clearing the track and I've added the, uh, the marker lamps which is the Wiseman's so there's only two uh, lenses coming out of them, the side and the rear when you order them you've got to make sure you get a pair so they're all ready to go there now that's the inside and what I'm doing there is this little block that I've cut I've test fitted it that it's going to go in just using some of the uh, Loctite super glue gel and we pick up the uh, a circuit board and a wacky one don't have to be perfectly straight Let's give it a press that's on and we'll solder this now I've got a piece of the uh, 12 thou wire and I've bent that you can see the angle that I've bent that at so we're going to tin that now always tin both pieces and a solder on there we tin the solder pad and then we can stick it on Just getting it so the um, the curve is going to come back, and and that curve that's on it there is going to rub up against the uh, wheels, the back of the wheels, of the back tire, and the you're going to rub on that back tire in here, that back metal part, and that's ready to go in. Now that's a test fit. And that just squeezes between there but I've got to glue it yet but before I glue it I get the length so that I'm not interfering with the um, the brake hanger and I just trim off a bit of each end just a tiny bit on that one now oh, that's ready to go in so uh, I'll put a bit of glue on this and we'll whack him in just the super glue again, the uh, Loctite. The needle light, it won't, not going to uh, upset the wheels or anything. And that's there. The wires there behind it, push it in. And there we go, there's, there it is rubbing there. It's a little bit long, so I'll trim that one off there. But you can see it's touching the back of the wheels on the metal, so we get the uh, track power up. So they're the pickups. I changed out the capacitor and I put in a uh, 2200 uh, which is going to last, should last for about 30 seconds or more so I won't get any flicker out of this at, at all with this, um, it's just a simple keep alive, stay alive circuit that's in there and I made a new bridge rectifier out of just four diodes so I've now got the wires coming up from the trucks and uh, the uh, capacitors sitting across between the positive and negative DC output from the uh, bridge rectifier and then we're going into the LEDs now if I turn off my workbench light and you can see I haven't tinted this one yet but I have tinted the one over the back hang on a minute I'm on the DCC let me show you this should this should last a fair time they're still on so we've got no power to this whatsoever so you want to sit back and count 
this should last for at least 30 seconds but I'm going to um, uh, tint these ones now with the Tamiya paint I've done that one so I've got the yellow in the side of that the red to the rear on that right hand one and on uh, this one here I haven't done anything with it there yet so um, I've used 0402 leads I just sold it up and just used some of the um, very fine wire that I get uh, from Hobby King 36 gauge um, Turnergy Teflon insulated I love it for all my surface mount leads so well, there they are they're still on and that's still there's no power on it there it's not on the track so as soon as I put it back on the track that should jump a bit more get some power to it there we go we're back on again bright not going to get any fire fl um, flickering lights in that whatsoever now that's just a simple one there but uh, the trick with it is is just using a, um, uh, a higher capacity uh, storage which is in this case 2200 UF uh, standard capacitor and I'm using a pin with the uh, orange and I just apply it into the lens port and we should get orange coming out of that now there we go there's the orange color coming out of that port and that's the Tamiya these are the Tamiya clear orange X26 I use a lot of these for tinting all my lids I just buy white lids and color whatever color I want green orange and the red is the X27 I do the same. I'll just clean the tip of that little needle and we just go and dip a bit of that. It's going to be treacly. Just get a bit there that's going to take. That may be a bit too much. We'll try it. Whoop, too much. And we'll just whack that in the back. If it's if it's not enough you can come back and do it a second time don't try and do it all in one go just coming around the back in there just running around the port and there's the red in the back of that one I'll turn the uh, workbench lead lights off now you should be able to see those two different colors there now in a minute probably I'm not cheating the lid back on this where I spill it and lift it off the track there's the two reds the orange the red that needs a little bit more red I'll just let that one dry and I'll come back and do that one again the orange but there you go I'll um I've got to seal all this up there now and just lock that in there and I'll just hide that with a bit of black um, black paper so it won't be seen and a bit of double sided um, tape to hold that uh, in place and then we put the roof on it and then I can put it back on the um, put it back to work anyhow there it is again very simple again I've got the 3.3 um, um, resistor in there 3.3 K and, uh, and 2200 uh, capacitor very simple and then the surface mount lead lights oh, they've gone out there well that's going to put it back on the track again there we go We're back on again just wait for that to store up with power and that the whole idea of this is I don't want flickering these lights flickering as I'm going around the track they won't do it there now for those of you who want to give this a go there's the circuit uh, so you've got your AC comes into top and bottom there your negative comes out there which will be DC so AC is going in and the four diodes rectify it over to DC so there's your DC comes out your capacitor is there so your negative side of the capacitor is onto the negative and the positive coming out of the uh, bridge rectifier DC goes to the other side of the capacitor 
and then out here is your load which in this case is the leads and I've got a diode in there um, a resistor in there of course to the leads okay so there's the uh, the booth with the lights going Musicians all playing. Until we reach the goal, need some coal in that fire. And we'll put God bless America on. <laughs> 